Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Sharon and I do all things anti-aging. If you like the video, please consider subscribing, if you have the time that is. Now today we are going to be talking about a face mask, or face masks, and this is the one from Soap and Glory and it is the Mask Force Force Collection. Now you've probably seen this before, but I'm interested in this one. Um, now this one is... Um, it's a detox mask, but it's very, very good for oily skin as well. So let's have a wee look what's inside the box. So we'll open this up. So what you get is these masks. And when you open them up, it looks like that. Now the detox one that I'm interested in, oh, and, and I'm interested in this one as well. God, my eyes never looked as good. <laughs> but um, I'm interested in that one as well to see how that works. But it's this one. Let me just take that out there, put these down. Um, these are little sort of a pink masks. When you open it up at the back, you get a little dispenser or a little um, applicator rather. And you get your little pods here. Now these are one use only. So let's take them out and have a little look. So you peel off this bit, if I can get it off, oh, ooh, that's it there. Looking very pink and gooey, but we'll try it. So let's have a wee look, and I'll take out the dispenser. Not the dispenser, why am I calling it a dispenser? An applicator. There's your little applicator there. Let's have a wee look. Ooh, nice and runny. So I'm just out of the shower. My face is clean and it's dry. So let's, let's applicate this, shall we? So here we go. Um, they do say that you apply it, you leave it on for 20 to 25 minutes. Now, it does smell absolutely gorgeous. It really does. I'm not going to lie. It smells gorgeous. So if you are someone that doesn't like, oh, look at that. Look at that. Silly me. Doesn't like a lot of scent, then I would maybe stay clear, clear of this. They also tell you, keep it away from your face. No, they don't. Uh, keep it away from your eyebrows and your hairline. So we'll apply that. We'll speed this up a wee bit. Do I take too long? And like I said, you leave it for 20 to 25 minutes and then you peel it off. And we'll see how my skin feels after that. So guys, I'm back, um, it's completely dry. Now, I'll just read you a wee bit of this, I'm finding it a wee bit hard to talk. Um, what's in this? So we have the Purifying Declog Mask, and it says, with oil absorbing, uh, K-line and clay powders, vitamin C and E, oolong tea, lentil seed sage, chamomile and ginger extracts. Now, it does say it's for lifting out gunk and junk. Well, fair play to you. Um, it does say you have to wash your face with soapy water before use. 
use one capsule and it says apply a thin layer evenly onto clean dry face avoiding the eye area, hairline, eyebrows and lips and then you wait for 25 minutes or 20 to 25 minutes and then you peel it off. So see if I can peel this off. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh. Not going to lie. Oh, that's sore. You know the little hairs in your face, kind of pulling at that. So let's. Ooh, something strangely satisfying about that. Weirdo, Sharon, weirdo. <laughs> the little hairs in your face don't get me wrong if you've got little hairs in your face it's gonna hurt seriously oh shit oh sugar oh. I see why they tell you not to put it near yeah. Eyebrows or your hairline. Oh, strong. Wee bit in the mouth there. Oh. <laughs> she says on the eyebrows. Wee bits off there. And all you do is you wash the excess off now. Dear God in heaven. There you go. Half my face, half my skin in that. Now, obviously, earlier in the video, you did see I had some on my hands. I went into the bathroom to try and wash it off because, you know, I was dabbing it in and rubbing it. And uh, believe you me, trying to wash it off my hands was, was a task. I'm not going to lie. So God knows what this is going to be like, washing it off my face. Jeez, trust me, trust me to get it on my eyebrows. It would only happen to me. Well, I'm sure it wouldn't just only happen to me. Ah. Ouch. Anyway, I'm going to go and wash this and see what happens. See you in a minute, guys. A minute. Ah. That's me back. Now, I'm not going to lie, uh, washing it off wet is a task. Washing it off once it's dry is very, very simple. So that's it. My, does my, how does my face feel? It feels absolutely super soft. Maybe that's because I pulled nearly every hair on my face out, leading to a lovely soft face. I don't know. So that's it. And I know I was talking about this hyaluronic acid before and about some of the <clears throat> other ingredients to put into it. But do you know something? It's not cheap and I'm not going to waste it. I am not going out with it in the day, getting all those um, impurities. It's allowing all that rubbish into your skin. Uh, I just put it on at night. If there's any rubbish in my house, I'm absorbing that every single day and night. So put my hyaluronic acid on. I am going to put on my retinol eye cream. Get that on. I'm not going to lie, I love this retinol eye cream. I've showed you it before. But one thing I will tell you, you need so little. There's so much of it, you could nearly spread the whole lot about your face. That's the one I bought for TK Maxx, it's brilliant. Can you see that? I don't know. Because I'm half blind, I've not got the glasses on. I hope you see it. So I have that. Let that dry in a little bit and then I will add my, my, what, what's this called? I can't see. I swear to God. This is the retinol and peptide, um, what is it? Overnight Renew Eye Cream. I'll put that on in a minute. I'll just let this dry in a wee bit. And then I will put on my, um, what's this? What's this? this yes, this is the 
liqueur, revitalite, night cream, and it's basically a dupe for the uh, this one here. But this is the day cream, and it is the Revitalift by L'Oreal. So um, it is very, very nice. And you can obviously add a Q10, but um, when you're using your retinol stuff first, put that on. You know, hyaluronic acid, then the retinol. But if you have any irritation, add your hyaluronic acid, um, a thin layer of night cream, and then a retinol, just to save irritation if you are just new into retinol. Now, that is our Salt and Glory Declog Mask. What do you think about it? It's absolutely lovely, I'm not going to lie. Uh, my skin feels gorgeous. Yes, it does stick to the little hairs on your face, but it's not like um, you're in agony and you're rolling about the ground screaming. That's not going to happen. And if it does, you're super sensitive. But, uh, or maybe it's just that I'm as tough as old boots. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it for the Soap and Glory. And like I said, there are many more. You have the I one, which I can't wait to use. Yes, indeedy. Oh, I look dead young. And that is from the Soap and Glory uh, mask collection. So thank you, Soap and Glory, for giving me this opportunity to show your um, products. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> it was bought. It was, I bought it myself. But anyway, guys, <laughs> anyway, Soap and Glory, if you're watching. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, loves and kisses, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.